Here on the plains of Erli Tao, a new town shall be established. The nearby river will provide plentiful quantities of delicious fish, and the fertile soil is ideal for bountiful harvests of nutritious wheat. Additional food can be imported from Hemudu or Banpal as necessary. As before, fine ceramics can be produced at kilns. It has been said that wonderful gifts come in small packages, and so it is true with the tiny silkworm. This marvelous creature, when fed a diet of tender mulberry leaves, produces a delicate strand of precious silk. Weavers can then meld these fragile filaments into luxurious garments, which are already highly prized by the growing number of new elite. Your village, in fact, needs a special neighborhood reserved for a number of these prosperous citizens. As word spreads of the beautiful silk being produced at your town, do not be too surprised if a greedy neighbor asks for some samples. We're back now in ancient China with Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, moving on from Ban Po to Early Tao, and this is more of the ad advanced tutorial type of scenario that we're going to be looking at here. The objectives here are more involved than they at first appear. 40 people in Lavish Sahewan and the Five Bolts of Silk. It will take some time to build up to that. And this is a considerably more difficult scenario and longer than any of the ones that we saw previously. Got some new historical elements as well. We are going to be fishing instead of hunting to supplement our agricultural food input. And then we've got sort of the social hierarchy developing with the elite class. Taking a look here first at the overall picture briefly in China, there's some good and bad to the historical fidelity of this scenario. The good is definitely the location, even more so the time. Early Tao culture did flourish around 2000 BCE, the estimated time frame of the Xia Dynasty ruling, if it existed. And if you were to pick the most likely place, it would probably be the Early Tao culture here on the Yellow River, not the Wei, where we were before. Probably the most advanced culture in this area of the world at this time. There's some definite evidence of early bronze working, metallurgy becoming a thing, so all of that is positive. Silk is not quite as accurate. It's probably just done for balancing out the tutorials and etc. But silk was actually developed much earlier in the Yangshao culture. Chinese tradition holds that it was around 2700 BCE by the Empress Lezu, wife of the Yellow Emperor, who we'll be seeing in the next scenario. The idea is Lezu was in the garden, drinking tea, a silkworm cocoon, drops from one of the trees into their tea, and they notice that there's strands and filaments coming off of it. It's a curiosity, and from that whole process, you know, develop the harvesting of silk from silkworms. Archaeological evidence indicates it was much earlier, at least a thousand years earlier, possibly as early as 4000 BCE, they began to experiment with this type of thing. And either way, though, obviously silk, a very important luxury good in China and later elsewhere for thousands of years. A highly important development, both from a gameplay and a historical perspective. So, here we are on our city map, and the tutorial does lay out... You know, where they want you to put some things, you know, like obviously housing here around the housing loop, maybe agriculture down here they want, industry and fishing down here, elite housing up here. But that also does a pretty good job of walking you through the general thought process. Like When you get to a new city, you should be looking at, okay, you know, one of the first things is just, I can have wheat and hemp fields. You know, I can build silkworm sheds. I can have, let's see, okay, this is the fishing. And then you look at your industry. You know, we've got clay pits, we've got kilns, Weaver, Jade Carver Studio. So once you know what your options are, then okay, where are they going to fit in the landscape, etc. We are going to adjust the recommendations some in this map due to the fact of you know dealing with feng shui and logistics and all of that. But along here, we're going to put all of our housing initially. And in most cities, I'm simply going to show the completed, okay, this is what I did for my starting build and go forward. But since this is still a tutorial map, I think I should show it again here. And 20 housing plots is quite a bit, but it's not excessive. We're going to need a bunch of labor. We're going to need to really micromanage labor and 
money in this particular map. I mean, we started out at 7,200 cash. That sounds like a lot. It's going to go quickly. So, we're going to throw down a well here. And another aspect, if you were watching closely in the Bon Po missions, you probably noticed that we did have an evolved or improved version of the well. And we're also going to get improved version of towers by increasing desirability. And one of the reasons or ways to do that is to use these new aesthetic roads known as Grand Ways. And they're fairly pricey, but they're much better for desirability to help those buildings improve. Why do we want to do that? Well, the towers will get a second walker if they evolve up. So that's, I mean, obviously double their effectiveness effectively in their job. That's very much worth it from the same amount of workers, the same amount of territory being taken up, all of that. And then the wells, that boost isn't quite as great, but they will give you cleaner water, which is better for health. And, of course, they obviously look better as well. So we're going to trail gardens along everything and try to make everything reasonably nice. And then residential wall is going to go with gray for this map. We tried out red before in Bon Po. I like gray much better. I like the archway here. I want to open this to market employees because the market's actually going to be out this way on this map. It's not going to be within the residential area. And then I'm not going to be able to block off the entire outside of the residential zone, but I want to block off some, particularly on this side. That's where the mill and everything's going to be. And let's, let's do that there. Okay, so what can we build initially? What do we want to wait on? Obviously, your inspectors can go up right away. But I don't want to, for example, put the market out here. It would collapse before I had a chance to get an inspector up in that area due to labor issues. I want to have everybody off in terms of labor except for the well initially. You know, the first few people go here, and then they go to the tower, and then they go other places and just gradually ramp up as people come in. But, of course, we can put in most of the agriculture. The fishing area down here will not work because those actually require being inspected to avoid collapse but I'm going to want a tower here eventually and I can throw that in place and then I can do of course some of the farms so let's go ahead and do that we're going to really prioritize wheat to get a food supply going for all of these people I'll make sure I have this spaced out properly there we go jog this a bit because the market's going to go right in there and continue the roadblocks going up inspector's tower I'm going to want here again we'll turn you off for now I don't think I turned off your labor I didn't now additional farms we're going to want hemp and that we're going to go down here into the recommended agricultural area Plop that down here. And how about the silkworms? Well, if we grab a shed here, you can see if we tried to move, for example, up in this area, yeah, this isn't too great farmland here. But up here, there's a pretty good area there. This is where I'm going to place the first one. I'm going to want more later. But I think about there looks reasonable. So let's go ahead and do that, extend out a road, and I'm going to want this to come up, that'll work, and we can just pull this road all the way straight down in between these rocks, and all of that is going to work out well for us. Okay, so I think that's about all that we want to do initially. Let's get some people in here. And as we're doing that, I want to do a couple things. First of all, almost immediately, what we want to do is go to the Empire map, and they want you to try out the spy bit. So if we train a spy for Dawenkow, it costs us 600, and then they're going to give us some information there eventually. And then we'll try the same general deal that we did previously with bribing the other cities. We're going to give each of them 500. 
So spy is 600. And there's pros and cons to using both methods. We'll see that as the spy goes out. But now we're going to have everybody come into place. And here's our spy. Yes, we know. Time for another secret mission for the master. I shall not fail. I hope not. And then, of course, our delegations going out to the other two. Let's get some fields going. We're going to throw up wheat. And hemp. Starting to get some traffic. And then the orchards themselves. Mulberry trees. We've got a nice friendly panda visiting us here. So all of that can do their thing when the time comes. Now, let's see, where are we at with people? We need to start... Yeah, okay, we can get people now working in that tower. And you can see they look so much nicer now. And as soon as we get the labor, because the growing season has actually already started for weeds. Want to get a few more people in here. Okay, I'm going to call that close enough, and we're going to turn this on. I'm going to be a bit short on labor here. I just want to get wheat going right away. I'm going to make sure I don't run short on labor after this at all, because I want to make sure we get this as much out of that as we can. Okay, now we're starting to get some more people in, in surplus. And so I want to get some fishing done as well. Again, with the focus on, of course, getting the food up. We're up to shelters in some of these places, up to huts. You know, the water being distributed around. And soon we will have all of them up. But we need ten people. Ten workers. I'll stick with the normal wage for now. I really can't afford to raise the wages on this map. Okay. So, we do have our monetary gifts. Let's go and take a look. And now we have information on Dowen Cow, despite not having sent them any money. So, they need ceramics, hemp, and carved jade, and they produce wheat. Himudu wants silk and ceramics, rice and jade, millet, silk and jade. Okay, so obviously the silk's going to be valuable, but also there's different interactions here we can have with the trade. Let's go ahead and open trade with everybody. Or at least try. And notice that, you know, agreeable for Hamudu. Dawan Kao is apathetic, Bon Po apathetic. So our cash to Bon Po did not appear to be as effective as our cash to Hamudu. And that can happen. So all of that is in place and we still need more people. So we can get some fishing going. Okay, that's enough. Let's get our fishing quay in place. And yeah, right there. Just go right on the banks. And I really like the animations that these have. You're just sitting there, they're doing this like mock fight. He's slapping his shield with a fish. And when they come back and unload, that's pretty entertaining as well. Next up, I'm gonna wanna get going over here. Let's get this inspector rolling. And let's get our common market up. The grand market is just bigger. Does the same job, just can have more shops going in it. And we're gonna need a mill, which we almost have enough people for as they continue to come in. There we go. We're gonna throw our mill up there. And we're gonna make sure that our mill is valuing fish and wheat two foods that we can pull in. And let's get a food shop going. And let's activate our ancestral shrine because that will also be needed to move up to the next housing level. Okay. Enough people. Let's throw up one more fishing way. 
really important that we get things going efficiently for this particular setup. We've got 12 left. Need a little bit more labor before I can really do anything else useful at this point. And we have trade agreements. Now, we're not actually producing anything that we can trade. So there's not much point in us putting those buildings up. They would just, you know, give us a bunch of labor issues. But we've not gotten an answer from Dowin Cow. But now as they come back here, we're going to see the unloading bit. And they take the fish and throw it in the basket. This guy in the middle is like he's going to catch it, and then he ducks and he throws it over his head. I just think that's hilarious. Okay, we've got a little bit more unemployment now. This is this harvesting is happening. We're getting the food around soon. So let's start on our ceramics industry. We're gonna throw a clay pit down here. Just enough people for it. Then we're gonna shut off the work here. And of course it always tells you how much it has stored. But as soon as it's done. It's not done yet, but when it is, then we're going to Go ahead and let that go. And Down Cow says no. So we're going to have to bribe them. But on the other hand, since we've sent out a spy, we know what they want. So, I mean, the cash, you know, you might have to bribe them with more cash if you don't use a spy. And, you know, I, using the spy lets you know what, what they want. It, you can go either way with that on what is the most effective method. So we're just sort of stuck where we are at the moment. Some of these houses are now starting to evolve up as they're getting the food in. And now we can turn this off. Okay, now we can advance what we're doing down here and not just have the clay pit, but we are going to throw an inspector up along here. And that will take care of this area, which is where I'm going to put a couple of kilns. You only afford one for the moment. We need a few more people in here. We have lots of them coming. Just going to wait for them to show up. And because of the need to conserve money so that we can get enough different things going, to turn a profit before we run out of cash. You can see, <laughs> we started off at 7,200. We're down to 1,600 already. Um, this is all I'm going to be able to do in terms of building up my industry here, except I forgot the warehouse. So we're going to slap that in place. Okay. And then when we can afford to do it, I'm actually going to lower the workforce. Can I do it yet? Yes. Drop it again. There we go. And then we just, that just lowers our wage bill. We will see soon in the next year why we want to do that. But for now, just build up our ceramics. Just going to store them for now. They'll be used for, and we don't have any new homage targets, but you can see they're both feeling neglected, so as soon as we can get something, we're going to want to throw it at them, make sure they don't get too upset with us. You see the wheat? Already gone. We can't really diversify our food supply until we get some more supply going. If we look here... Yeah, there's only 140 some left there. Just We distributed most of that first supply of food around everybody. There's unrest, and I didn't turn on the watchtower yet. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got the people. Particularly if I remember to click on the right spot. That's actually going to help our unemployment as well. So, good, good, good. We actually... Like, I'm going to start throwing people in here, even though we don't need them yet. And this is just a very cheesy, gamey way of doing it. But it gets rid of unemployment. They're not actually going to work until April in the Silk area. Ooh, 
How do we run out of workers? Okay. We'll free them up. Fishing continues. That was just a temporary dip of workers, so we'll go back that way. And our first year, we have 400 and some populations, so we are making progress. Yeah, well, guess what? We, you know, one thing at a time. How's our ceramics doing? We've got a couple hundred. And we're going to want in a bit to turn this on. As soon as I hit the mark. This is going to be a seasonal routine. There we go. That we pretty much want to continue observing. Okay, we can turn the two of you off. And then we need to free up eight more workers. Which I will do by... Let's see, you're at 84%. 62%. I'll turn you off. Of course, I don't like turning off the ceramics, but you do what you have to to keep the labor flowing. Although, you know what? We'll just turn up... Actually, just turn up the uh, labor for now and keep this going. But then in April, we're going to need more for the hemp and the beginnings of the silk. So, it's imperative that we get silk going this year. We'll see why. There goes the wheat. Whatever we can out of these ceramics during the brief period we can focus on them. Okay, there we go. So now, we're going to turn on hemp. Turn on the silkworm shed. Crank this up, and let's see how many more workers we need. Twelve? Okay. So I will turn off one of my kilns. Is that going to give me just enough? It appears that it will. Now soon we are going to need a weaver. Somebody's got to weave this silk. We're going to leave this off for now because there's no point in doing it when we don't have any silk. But. are growing. Five hundred ceramics. Let's do an initial offering. We'll go with Nuwa. We'll give you four crates of ceramics. Just something to you know keep you off our back for a while. And over here, our first look at the silk as they go around working on the various trees. Of course, they're still very early on. The silkworm shed actually has two growing periods per year. So, they can produce a fair amount. And it's pretty much a one-to-one -one relationship. One of those will produce enough silk to keep one weaver busy. Now, in order to boost up further, we're going to need to wait until we get a better food supply, and then we're also going to need the hemp. So, we really can't do anything other than increase the wage rate, which we can't afford, to improve our situation. It's kind of got to grow our way out of things here. And you can see some of these trees now looking much, much healthier. It's a long haul from there over to our warehouse. 
but you know we're we will rectify that situation later. We just got the basic structure in place at the moment. And we're approaching now. Harvesting time for wheat again. We continue to gobble up all of our fish as quickly as we can throw it up, it seems. We got some silk coming. Oh, yeah. That's starting to come in. So, as soon as we get this cleared out, then we'll be ready with that. Okay. Let's turn you on. As solid as Mount Tation. Also turn you on. This is going to put us just a hair short, I think. Yeah, one worker. I'm not worried about that. We've got ceramics going. We've got hemp that's finishing up here. We're going to start weaving some silk. We're starting to move in the right direction. Feel more comfortable if we get some more fish. Here's another load coming in up here. And as soon as this agricultural season is over, you can see that we're working on the next one here for the silk. We're gonna want to get a hemp shop up. There's lots of fun yet to be had. Getting to work on the silk. And we'll be moving onward and upward. you still got more, don't you? Yep, you've still got a load down there. They're bringing in more silk. Down to a thousand cash. It's gonna be tight. We've gotta be careful here. And which delivery person is actually gonna take it? Whole bunch of them coming back here. They've been keeping themselves busy. There we go. All right, how much labor does that give me? 21. Let's go ahead and grab that hemp shop. Now we're hoping to be able to boost this housing up to the next level. We've got ceramics, we've got silk, you know, we've got various things. Storage is pretty high here, although it will get cleared out soon. But we are hopefully moving in the proper direction to get some more people and then be able to scale up. And let's see, can we... Yeah, that'll work. And how are you doing? You still have more over here, don't you? It takes you a while to unload. Yep, you still have a load. But now we have to start making some money. And in order to do that, we've got to trade. So who do we want to trade with? The basic idea here is we want to try to sell... I mean, the only thing we're going to be able to sell real silk, ceramics, maybe some hemp. Who's going to want that stuff? Well... Bon Po will buy silk or jade. And it's selling millet. Hamuda will buy silk and ceramics. And we don't have a deal, 
set up here and you're not buying silk anyway. So the best single partner that we can put up right now is to, you know, get Hamudu going. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to throw it. It won't fit right there. So we're just going to put it a little bit off the road. And then we're also going to throw up an inspector's tower. And I just kind of want to throw this off set just a bit. So I can just run the road in between. And then for now, that should work out. I don't want to spend any more cash than I have to until we start getting some income. So we will sell the silk and we will sell ceramics, but we're not going to buy anything yet. We need to make sure we're turning a profit. We are going to set silk to get two units. We're going to see why in a moment. I know, you know, it's usually you only want to do groupings of four, as people have mentioned. I have a specific reason for wanting to do it this way here. And then we're going to only go with four on the ceramics. And that's just to give me enough so that I can have something for homage offerings when we need it. How we do it looking on that, by the way. Still contented for Nuwa, so I'm happy with how all that's going to transpire. And we need more workers. So that means I need to turn the wage rate back up. There we go. And as soon as we start making some cash, then we can really try to expand our operations. And we've got you know, people coming in here now. Okay, all the hemp and everything is having that effect. And of course, Music and Herbalist is our next bit, so as we get more people in, we'll need those to increase it further. Lots of people coming, and now we have an unemployment issue, which tells me Let's get those built. So the herbalist is going to come right down here. And I have the Ancestor Shrine here, by the way, to increase desirability in this area because we have the market down in this place. And of course, we could build more housing, but just to get more labor, I, I think the money is going to be a bigger issue for us. So that's why I'm not bothering with that. Music school right down here. Should still be able to lower our wage rate. And again, we're now under 500. We are dropping off some things here to begin the trading process, but it is tight. We do have the uh, the silk stored up over here, and they're working on more. And I would really like to expand my operations for this year, as we're about to hit another growing season, but I don't know that I can. So we're about to be a little bit low on labor, but we're also about to hit the growing season here, so it's not really going to be the case. Again, they're they're buying some of our ceramics. We're not you know, we're not going to make a huge profit now, but we have enough going that we should be able to sell enough to offset our payroll. So it's you know it's a step in the right direction. You see, we're keeping up well on the silk, and we're soon going to want to yep. And this is why I was stockpiling that silk. Okay, so Bai Gong Fu from Himudu demands the silk. And we could ignore them, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to dispatch it. And that's the only request we're going to get. So now, I actually don't want to store up the silk at all. 
I just want to go all the way. All of the silk goes straight here. Let's just make a profit from it. Let's see, let's turn you on. Boost our labor rates. Okay. So now we're able to have all of our industry going during the growing season. Which means we're probably going to want to expand our industry at some point. So we need... You don't have access to an herbalist yet? You should. Are they just taking their sweet time? Or are they just going out this way? Yeah, they're going out the... Alright, fine, I'll move the gate. Good grief. I placed the gate in the wrong place. Alright. Lesson learned. Now let's try it. Yeah, you're eventually going to disappear. You know what? I think... How much hemp do we have? Yeah, let's try it. I want to butter up Dow and Cal for a trading agreement. They want hemp. We've got hemp. Let's go ahead and do that. That way we don't have to spend any cash on this. I don't quite want to send you... A medium gift? I'm going to try sending you a small gift, and then I'll send you another one later if that's not enough. That might not be the right call, but it's what we're going to do. We're going to bring some more over here. And uh, Himudu, Baigong Fu, is happy with us because we sent them silk. Yay, good, thank you, now leave me alone. So we can probably still do it for the second half of the season. I think we've got enough cash to afford it. They're going to buy these. I'm going to set up another silkworm operation. This could be a little tight financially, but I think I can make it work. So I want to go up in here, where I think there's just enough room probably for a good location. And some of these aren't good feng shui, so we have to sort of have to hunt around. But I think there will work. So let's bring this nice long road all the way back here. Of course, again, we don't need an inspector. And let's see. Now, see, labor-wise, we are going to have to shut something off. And really, that's going to have to be one of the kilns. So 15%, that works. But obviously, if you compare the two, the silk is a much more valuable commodity. And that's going to fit just perfectly, actually. And then, we're not going to want to use it yet, but let's put up another weaver. Well, no, let's not. We're almost out of money. Come on, buy that stuff. There we go. Now we're feeling a little bit safer, but we definitely... <laughs> that was close on the cash. We are going to just chill out... We've got more people coming in. We'll be able to turn on that kiln again in a bit. There we go. Get those ceramics going again. But I definitely want to keep a few hundred, you know, just sort of slush in there. And now more people coming in. The herbalist is going the right way. So just moving that gate back that one bit. Accomplished it. Okay, if you appreciate our hemp, you appreciate it enough to agree. No, I don't want... Eh, whatever, we'll send you the ceramics too. I didn't really want to do that, but we'll go ahead and do it. And we're also going to open trade. I mean, the ceramics we just sold for a small bit of money. It's not 
that big of a deal. Seven. Yeah, we're down to like 200 again. Emissaries, come on, buy my stuff. Buy my stuff so that I have money. Ooh. Definitely lower that down. Emudu is willing to sell more rice. And unemployment being what it is, I actually don't want to take anybody off of any of these stations that I want to put up now. Boy, can I afford it? I'm hoping so. Yeah, let's put up another weaver. Just, I want to use up the labor. And I think the next thing I want to do is expand ceramics. Just give us a little bit more profit. We don't have a lot of hemp at the moment. Okay, let's start. Really, we've got the labor any any time. It's just a case of yeah. I don't have the I don't have the cash. The cash is the issue right now, not the labor. So we're now a handful of months later. It's March 1894. We've completed three full years here in Early Town. We still have more to do. We have the silk, but we need the lavish Sahelans. We need to. I want to build my income, my economy, a little bit more before we do that. But we do have ceramics up. We've got some good positive income over a thousand now, so we're definitely headed in the right direction. We need to evolve our housing up further. And if we look at this, this is actually unoccupied. And it's kind of weird that it set it that way, but I saved and loaded at this point, and I think this got stuck right between while the house was evolving from one state to another. That'll definitely happen if you place down a bunch of housing plots at the beginning of a mission and then don't do anything else just save and load it'll give these unoccupied shacks as opposed to having you know just a vacant lot showing so just a bit of a housing saving and loading bugbear but we need to bring in some things i'm going to bring in some jade and some rice and i don't want to bring in a ton of it and actually we're going to wait a bit on the jade because i don't want to really hurt my... I don't want to bite off more than I can chew here. Let's do one thing at a time. So if we bring in the rice... And we're going to go to 12. On all of these. We're producing enough wheat and fish, but not a huge surplus. So that should be beneficial to us. Let's get that in here. Let's go ahead and upgrade to appetizing food once we get the rice in. Well, should have a strong surplus of food once that happens. And then we're also going to want to be selling ceramics, because we can't accomplish this with just the appetizing food. We also need the ceramics as part of that picture. And how are we doing labor-wise? Yeah, we've got enough, but not a big amount of extra as they begin hauling in now our rice. And of course, it's another growing season here, so we've just sort of got to wait on the people, but we're almost to the point where we don't have to do seasonal labor adjustments. Get a bunch more people in here, I think we'll make that. Okay, now we have enough. I want to move this, well, get everybody out of the way. Move that roadblock, because it's causing a bit of problems with my music, people not knowing which way to go. So, roadblock back there, just one spot. And we're going to throw up a Jade Carver studio. So that you can begin utilizing that Jade. That we're going to want to buy. And I think I'm ready to start that. I'm going to be careful. And not go any further just yet. We need a bunch of people in here. Right now, we're just sort of dead even on that. 
as they all come in. We got more trade. Are they not bringing in the jade yet? Because they should be. Perhaps they're just waiting for the next one to do it. Yep, there we go. Now they're dropping it off. I think next up, what I'm going to want now is to... Did I change my... Yeah, I did. So, Crab Sweet Mai, whatever, is our latest creation. And, of course, until they harvest this, they only have not a great amount of food, but they will have enough. Let's build another trade station to Dawan Cow. We're going there so that we can sell our jade and let's sell some hemp and let's sell some more ceramics if we are able to there roadblock up on this side let's move this one so that we can have the same inspector work on that and we're down pretty low on cash so we just need to hold the phone here we have enough labor let's drop that cost that should help And I think, yeah, we need to drop this. We're going to sell the extra hemp now. And let's check in. Yeah, neglected. That's not good. Why don't we give you a decent amount of ceramics to make you happy again for a while? There we go. Now we're going to be stockpiling ceramics over here for a bit instead of selling them. But we still should be okay. We have some silk here waiting for them to purchase it. Can we drop wages again? Not what? Oh, one worker? We have more coming in, don't we? Yeah. That'll be good. And more jade. But they also bought enough stuff to compensate for it. I want another Jade Carver Studio, just to ramp that up a little bit more, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till we get a little more cash. And we do need a strong cash flow. Definitely, in order to undergo the expense we're going to be having up this way. Definitely a, a very busy city and population quite strong. Buying some more of our silk. I want to get up over a thousand, and then once I do that, I will begin to put things in place. You know what, let's... There are some desirability issues here on the corners. So I am going to extend this wall a little bit. Just here on the edges. Maybe bring this down. And then extend our gardens a bit. did help you here. So that did give me enough there to, you know, and then we can boost it up. Now, the elegant dwelling needs even more desirability, but the thing about it is, to improve past elegant dwelling, we would now need acupuncture, which is not available at this point. So we've reached the peak you know, tech level of what we can actually have here. And I don't think the game actually intended for you to get quite this high. In any case, at 
this particular scenario. So over a thousand people. And I think yeah, 1400 That should be plenty. Let's go ahead and add another Jade Carver Studio over here. And in order to make sure that's getting properly inspected, let's throw a road up this way. This is going to be our access road up this ramp to get our elite housing done anyhow. Let's go ahead and throw you up here. And another roadblock. So you're going to have a very small area to deal with but you will effectively do that. And cash is still looking really good. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to operate slightly differently in this area than the tutorial recommends, specifically as it relates to putting another residential wall around this area, which makes a lot of sense, except that we're limited in what areas we can go to for feng shui. For example, we just were to throw some of these down. Like this area is good, not good over here, not good over here. And then with all the other services and everything they need in this area, I just, it's really restrictive and we don't really need the residential walls up here. We're far enough away from everything else. We're not gonna have a big desirability hit. You know, the mill's way over here. So I just, I don't really need it. What we do need to do is space this out very carefully. Come down here and just run along this way. And then you should be able to come down here. Okay, so in order to avoid any fires or any other problems, I'm going to want another inspector's tower up this way. And so I'm just going to get all of this laid out before I actually start putting these housing units in. Need grand ways all the way around to improve our desirability. So I'm going to put the gardens on the inside. see, I mean, this is, that's sucking up a decent amount of our cash as it is. Then we're going to need the gardens down. Let's go ahead and let this unfold as we go. I just sort of want these to bisect these areas. So now we're creating effectively some square plots in here. Yeah, go ahead and hold a festival. And these are the areas where we're going to put, you need at least four to accomplish what we're going to want to do in terms of our 40 population for the elite housing. And I'm actually going to do a fifth. Actually work out better for me that way, I do believe. I think I should turn up here. Let's go ahead and throw on some more grand ways. And the, sort of, the inside corners always look a little weird with these. Just because of the way the grand ways are laid out, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's get some more money in before I finish this up. Because beyond the elite housing themselves, they're going to need various amenities up there, services, etc. And we are continuing to sell everything, but... I don't want to get too tight. If I space this out, I am going to want additional gardens. Coming along here. And then let's take a look at where we're at. This is 
That's where I'm going to want that final road. Let's see about getting Grand Ways finished up here. There we go. Since we've got this extra bit here, why not just throw another garden there? Okay. So, I'm going to want then I get this in place first. Inspector's Tower. There we go. We got it evolved. Everything is fine. Oh, we need more workers. That's not a problem. Cash is looking good. I think we're ready. These are, of course, quite expensive, and you have to wait a little bit after you place on all this for the desirability to trickle through. We should be good. And they're going to eat up the hemp and ceramics. Let's just hold with three of them for now. Get some more cash in. And then we'll be able to put up more. And you know what? Let's clear out that roadblock now. You see we've got people coming in. I think it's rather amusing how this works when they show up here. Because basically we've got like five people in each of these carts. hop in. And you see one too many. The, the, only four people can fit in a modest Sahaya one. You can see it says access to music in order to evolve. They need a lot more than that. And they kick out somebody. I've been evicted by that greedy pig of our landlord. I hope our dragon eats him. Because these have to evolve further before you can actually get. And of course they wanted lavish Sahaya ones. So modest Sahaya ones are not good enough. Let's see. Do we have enough? Yep, needs a bale of hemp. We're actually out of hemp. We can't place that last one. So, we are about to harvest some more, though. So that should not be a problem. Just gotta wait until we get more into storage. Now we have to see to their needs. So the music will be covered. Like, here, here comes our announcer up this way. But some other things won't be. We're going to need an ancestral shrine up in this area. We're going to need an herbalist up in this area. So how are we doing labor-wise? Still fine. But I'm probably going to want to pop this up to normal at least for a bit. We're good on cash. So now we're going to do something new. We're going to throw up an acrobat school, because I need that as well. i throw this up right over here. It's fairly sizable building, and they are doing some fairly impressive things here. They will talk about concentrating and, you know, keep your balance and asking their performers whether or not they can juggle. They've got some interesting commentary that they will do. And at this point, we're also going to need one more thing at least, which is going to be a shop for silk. Now, in order to make that happen, notice we're just filling out completely now. We've got the acrobats down here. This is a fully functioning 
market square with no spare areas to be used. And let's get just four of the silk. So I won't be able to get as many or as much income briefly. But they are continuing to work down here. Looks like we're starting to stack up a reserve here. We should probably at least put a warehouse up here to relieve some of that. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Have it down here perhaps a bit. Throw up another inspector. Throw up a couple roadblocks. Then let's have you accept... Let's turn everything off. Accept any overflow food, any overflow silk. That should be it. That should be the only things that we need. But since we're keeping ceramics and hemp here, just we need jade, etc. We need a little more slush room available to us. And actually, this is part of the problem. I don't want jade in there. Let's go ahead and celebrate. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I don't want to accept jade. So I didn't click that off, and I should have. In any case, one of the things I like about this whole parade here now is with the celebrations, notice we've got... Like, the acrobats are part of it. So it just adds to everything. We got this whole procession now. So you notice. At least I don't sing like a rooster with a sore throat. You look marvelous in your... We bring in the balance? And the harmony of the new year. So the different, like, the musicians have different things to say. The, apparently the wife, wife there is, <laughs> has got a bit of a forked tongue. We bring in the but then also, and the harmony you know, the, the acrobats year. have their bits to say. So nice little flavor things that they're actually adding into that New Year's celebration as well. I like the integration there. And yes, you cannot make any improvements until you receive some silk. So we're still waiting for that to happen. But I think they just bought it. Yep. That was our silk vendor just buying it up, getting back here, and we don't need a lot. So, our peddler will go by, and here they are. Of course, the goods magically teleport from the market square to the peddler wherever they are. So that's a nice little trick. They didn't actually happen to go by this one. So these are up to lavish sahewans, is what we need. Tasty food to evolve further. We don't need them to. I think that requires acupuncturists as well. I'm not positive on that. I haven't explored that too much yet. But uh, room for five more. So if we have ten in each building, we'll have fifty. And we only needed forty. So that will work. Another item that isn't always necessarily evident with the elite housing is that up to a certain point... Adding more elite housing improves the max amount of military that you can have in your city. So they're also important for supporting that aspect. And here comes the peddler again. And they're going to come right by this way. So we have our lavish Sahewans in place. And now we just need enough people to move in and a little bit of time to pass. We'll be looking good. And you can see our income now up over, you know, 2,500. We are making money hand over fist. We don't have to tweak our labor anymore. You know, we're at normal labor with, you know, plenty to spare for everything that we're doing. So early Tau is looking really excellent and Again, the huge bustling market at this point, the better housing. Everything is really running smoothly. So I'm pretty happy with this this layout. It should give us a really strong foundation. You have done well. With your guiding hand, the town of Early Tao is off to a most auspicious start. Fine silk from its talented weavers adorns the town's elite and is also making a name for itself throughout the region. Riches are flowing into the town's coffers. 
indeed. So I think we are well set up now to move on to the next bit here in Early Tell, and that will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.